Boom, doom, 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 don't want to hurt myself, but I occasionally hurt myself. So, but today, we're talking on a training tip. Okay, shin splints—something I hear about all the time. How do I avoid shin splints? How do I take care of shin splints? Well, let's first just talk about trying to avoid something in general. Why don't we train our lower leg like we do everything else? We just assume that they're just going to take care of themselves, and they won't. Especially for dorsiflexion, pulling our feet back. We don't often think about having to train those muscles, so they get overworked. Get irritated, I get mad. Okay, so that's all we're talking about today. We're gonna do it in one easy step, two parts, and some subsets. <laughs> okay, so really all we're talking about today is walking on our toes and walking on our shins. Not our shins, on our heels for our shins. So heel and toe walk basically is all we're talking about. Why would we do these? Well. We like to do them for a warm-up before runs. You know, get them warmed up and ready to go. So they're primed like everything else we want to do in a warm-up. And also, make them stronger. Which is kind of what we want our body to be, stronger. So, all we would do is, if you don't have a track, because normally on a track we would do about 50 meters, so half of a curve or half of a straightaway on either our toes or our heels, and alternate back and forth. You can think about it. 20 to 30 seconds, whatever you feel comfortable with, build towards 30 seconds. Okay. That would be the ultimate goal. First one we do is just simply knees forward, toes forward, walking on our toes. And I would just walk. Nice and tall, nice and controlled. This isn't for speed, this isn't for time, this isn't to like run through. So we don't want that. Okay. So nice and controlled. So I would do 30 seconds for 50 meters, then I would switch to my heels. I would simply walk with my heels. Keep my knees pretty straight, toes up as high as possible. It's going to be pretty short steps. I'm not going to be taking giant steps. Just nice, small baby steps. Okay. Again, 50 meters, 30 seconds. Then back to my toes. This time, though, bink, bink. I'm going to point my toes outward. Okay. And I'm going to walk. Okay. Then, again, after I do those, back to my heels. Seconds, 50 meters, and then up my toes, bink, bink, you guessed it, inward. And then again, I'm just going to walk nice and easy. I don't want to do this, I want to be up on my toes. Okay. Again, nice, tall, toes in. Again, 50 meters, then again, on my heels. That's it. That's it for the warm up. Well, that portion of the warm up. Okay. Try it, guys. Do it consistently, though. One day is not going to work magic. A couple days isn't going to work magic. Try it for a couple weeks. See how those feel? You should feel stronger in your low legs and that should warm everything up. I prefer to do as much barefoot as I possibly can, which is awesome because then it primes my whole foot and my low leg. Okay? Give it a shot, guys, to see what you think. Let us know if you have any questions, comments, concerns at all. Feel free to shoot us some. We'll answer your questions for you guys. As always, live with love. Hey guys. <laughs> oh, damn it, Drew.